So these attacks or rampage, are they isolated incidents or is there a pattern? United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, physical scuffles, rampage, what's happening? And how is the ISI behind it all? Here's a report for you to understand the sudden revival of Khalistan separatism. Khalistani hate against India is surging globally. They went on a rampage in London and San Francisco. The Khalistanis vandalized the Indian High Commission in the British capital and pulled down the tricolor on Sunday. The attackers threatened Indian staff at the mission. The Indian High Commission, as I would like to show you, look at the windows out here uh, and I will take you further down and see and look at the kind of vandalism that has taken place. The windows have been, uh, have been attacked and actually these are quite sturdy, a window and this is not one, there are many in, in, in um, one after the other that was attacked and the flag was taken down and two security personnel uh, really uh, scuffled with uh, the people who were sort of protesting so to say suddenly turned up on the 19th of March and uh, the personnel were hurt a little bit, injured, but not enough to be hospitalized. In San Francisco, the Khalistanis attacked the Indian consulate after officials removed Khalistani flags from the property. They even painted free Amritpal messages on the consulate building, condemning the police crackdown on against fugitive Khalistani leader Amritpal Singh in Punjab. Khalistani supporters also demonstrated outside the Australian Parliament in Canberra and the Indian Consulate in New York City demanding a clean slate for Amritpal. India has called out the UK government's indifference to the security of Indian diplomats and personnel, calling it unacceptable. New Delhi summoned British envoy and lodged strong protest. India has demanded an explanation for the absence of security at High Commission premises. Parties cutting across political lines having condemned the Khalistani attacks. जो इस प्रकार के आतंकवादी लोग हैं, जो चाहते हैं कि भारत को बदनाम किया जाए, भारत के और ऐसे लोग जो आतंकवादी को सह देने वाले लोग हैं, आज इनको समझना चाहिए। लेकिन इस प्रकार से चाहे पाकिस्तान हो खालिस्तान हो ये खालिस्तान पाकिस्तान नहीं अब तो रहेगा हिंदुस्तान सत्तर साल से इस देश का पेट भरने का काम पंजाब के किसान करते हैं कभी किसानी आंदोलन में बैठा के आप उनको उधर एंटी नेशनल पेंट करते हैं और अब ये सारी चीजें करके जब इसका रिएक्शन बाहर आएगा तो आप वहाँ एंटी नेशनल पेंट करेंगे ये बिल्कुल नहीं चलेगा real problem is not inside the High Commission but in the premises outside, which is the responsibility of the local authorities, in this case the British authorities, to protect. If the British police are completely derelict in their duty and they allow this nonsense to happen, you can see the video. There are a rabble of a dozen fellow shouting slogans, one chap climbs up, pulls down our national flag. This is a major insult which we cannot tolerate. The pro-Khalistani toolkit seems to be emerging with Canadian MPs and leaders tweeting the same words about the security clampdown in Punjab. While the manhunt for Amritpal seems to have spiked the Khalistani attacks globally, recurring incidents of the hate against Indians have been on the rise for quite some time now. With Lavina Tandon in London, Bureau Report, India Today.